Happy Vlogmas Day 5 everyone! Today is going to be the ultimate holiday gift guide and I have some hot cocoa with me so cheers to you guys. also have my hot cocoa glossierbomb.com. It is 8.41 currently and I had my stage combat demo and then I immediately came home and showered because a bird decided to poop on my head today. So that's fun. <laughs> but you know, good luck. So fingers crossed that that demo went well. I have Lando here with me to help because he's Christmas themed. I have him into a couple categories. I have clothing, jewelry, shoes, beauty, tech, dorm slash college miscellaneous, and then also stuff that's on my Poshmark. So starting off with clothing, I have Brandy Melville, which is known for their basics, their cute little graphic crop tops, their low-rise pants. I mean, you can't go wrong, really. They're pretty good price point for a good staple in your closet. And I really like the Gina tops. I feel like they're very flattering. And then I really want to try the Bonnie top. Also, their Rosa sweatpants. Those are like the regular style joggers, and they're super comfortable. And their Anastasia sweatpants. Also, any of their jewelry, they're really inexpensive. They're super cute, and they've held up pretty well for me. I really want to try the blue and white striped sweater as well. Next up is leggings. I basically live in leggings because I go to performing arts school and every day is movement, whether it's stage combat, movement in our scenes, or if it's a demo day and I have to wear all black. So I love some leggings. <laughs> of course, there's the go-to Lululemon ones. I've been getting the aligned ones lately. Airy leggings, specifically the ones that have like the cross in the front. I have the flares in those. Those are so, 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 so cute. And then the regular ones in the cross and it just there's a little extra touch. I haven't tried these next two, but I really want to. Is the TNA Aritzia legging and then the Aloe leggings. I always hear really good reviews about those. Speaking of Aritzia, it's Christmas time, winter, if you live in a snowy area. Super puff to stay warm. Their sweat sets, they're pretty much known for that at this point. A bodysuit or any of their basics really, they're also a good place to get good quality basics. On the winter train, North Face Puffer, Patagonia Puffer, Patagonia Fleece, also Uniqlo jacket, their vest, and they wrap up and then they go into a little bag. It's the coolest thing. White Fox hoodies. This is another thing that I haven't had yet. I watched Nicole here on YouTube and she raves about them. Skims. I have a tank top from their Valentine's collection. It is so buttery soft, but I really want to try their smoothing and their Fit Everybody t-shirt and long sleeves, but they're always sold out. Always. Every time I check, my size is always sold out. So waiting on that one but those look really good. From Abercrombie, their bodysuit, also so buttery soft. Abercrombie jeans and short, those are just like a little nice staple. Roots hoodies, specifically this one, one of the best hoodies I've ever had hands down. I like how it has no strings because I always just feel like the strings get so congested here. It's like this medium, not too heavy, but not too thin material. I don't know. If you've been on TikTok and there's that girl who does a hoodie that hoodies, she needs to try this one because I'm telling you, it hoodies. And then just just for basics in general, so Abercrombie, Aritzia, Grey Bandit, Princess Polly, Cotton On, anything else I've listed earlier. Just some basics are really good in your closet. So the next category is jewelry. Starting up with Majuri Jewelry, I think that's how you pronounce it. They have rings, hoops, studs, literally everything. I would recommend getting their like everyday jewelry. It doesn't tarnish, you can wear it in water, you can sleep with it. Those are super cute, you don't have to take them out. I have three piercings, so I wanna look into those. Next up for bracelets I have is Little Words Project, which I'm actually an ambassador for them. So I'll put the code on the screen and you get 15% off if you use it. So it's pretty nice during the holidays. Basically, they're beaded bracelets and they have little words on them. <laughs> little words project, if easy. And it can be a phrase, self-love, confidence. It's to spread a positive message and what's really cool about them is they each have this individual code that you input onto the website and when you're done with the bracelet you can hand it to a friend they can upload it and you can see where your bracelet travels basically you also can do custom ones those are really cute and they hold up really well bunch of different sizes next are Karen Lazar bracelets I really want one of these as well they're also beaded bracelets they're gold and I just see so many people have like a stack they come in different sizes I saw Haley Sunny have them they just look so timeless next is a more code bracelet. Also Pura Vida and Four Ocean bracelets. They clean up trash from the ocean and the beaches every time you purchase. The next category is shoes. I mean, it's winter time, so Uggs. So comfortable, super cute, and they hold up for a long time. So you can go with the Ugg Ultra Minis, which I got last Christmas, and Ugg Tasmans. They have two versions. There's the Tasman, and then there's the Taz, which are like the platform ones. Either one are super cute. I really like the Taz, though, with the little red border. Hoka's, Adidas Sambas, Air Force Ones, Converse, Converse Platform, and Converse with these like spiky bottoms. I'll put them on the screen. Those are my go-to shoes every single 
single day almost. Knee high boots, cowboy boots, Birkenstock sandals and Birkenstock Bostons, and white slip on vans. Beauty is probably my biggest category. My mom knows I kind of spend a little too much time in Sephora, even if I don't buy stuff. It's a mixture of skincare and makeup. Ice roller, I really want to get one of these. I hear it's good for deep bloating, deep puffing your face in the morning. A gua sha, stainless steel one. A little mini fridge for your skincare, for your face masks, your eye masks, your serums, anything. The Laneige lip kits, the glowy balm. I really want to try the peppermint one, so if you guys get your hands on it, find it, because it's sold out everywhere else that I know of it. Or the sleeping masks. The Summer Fridays lips. The Summer Fridays jet lag mask. Aquaphor. So universal. I carry like three different sizes around me. I have one right here. <laughs> Rode. Anything from Rode. I love their moisturizer. It's so calming. It's one of the only moisturizers I've ever had that doesn't sting my face sometimes when my face is really irritated. Never had any problems with it. It did its job. So lightweight, but also so nourishing. The lip peptides, so, so, so nice as well. As you see when my videos, I put that on top of my lip combos. I really want to try the tints though. Those are sold out. Get your hands on the tints if you can. Lush face masks. Specifically, the Magnum Minty one. If you have oily skin, acne prone skin, sensitive, all that, use that. Immediately within a day, the redness is so much better. I don't know, it's magic. <laughs> Fresh. Fresh is such a good brand, but especially their soy cleanser. It's their, you know, iconic one, but it is so, so nice. Takes off my makeup, cleanses my face. It doesn't leave it feeling dry, irritated. It still feels hydrated, but not in a greasy way. This one I haven't tried yet, but the Merit Concealer I keep seeing on TikTok, it makes your blemishes disappear instantly. Makeup by Mario Bronzer Stick and Makeup by Mario Blush Sticks. Mark Jacobs Daisy Love. That is my go-to signature scent. I love it. She's beautiful. YSL Black Opium. Glossier U Perfume. Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. It's Charlie D'Amelio's Born Dreamer. It's actually really good, guys, so try it out. Native Vanilla Body Wash. Just anything from Way, but specifically their St. Bart's collection. Body lotion, their body scrub, and their body wash. I got it in the birthday kit from Sephora. Heavenly. If you like tropical scents, get the St. Bart's. Also, their scalp serum. I haven't tried it, but I hear really good things about it. Their detox shampoo and leave-in conditioner. My hair has never looked better when I was using that, and I ran out, and I've been meaning to get some, but it is so good. And the even conditioner smells really good too. <laughs> Elta MD sunscreen, safe for acne prone skin. I see it in a lot of Vogue beauty secrets. My skin has been looking so much better since I rebought some. And if it's not that one, find yourself an SPF. That's one of the main skincare things you ever need is just some SPF guys. The Elemis cleansing bombs, day styling cream, also their shampoo and conditioner sets, Touchland sunscreens, Glossier, their bomb.com, their skin tint, lash lick, pro tip eyeliner. Their blushes are really cute as well. Their wowder powder, rare beauty, Beauty, blush and highlighter and their lip oils. I really want to try their lip oils and that's also something that's always sold out. Flamingo razor. I've also heard really good things about the Billy one. I personally have the Flamingo so that's what I know. Bath and Body Works sets, lotions, hand lotions, sanitizers, body sprays, any of it. Those smell really good. Tree Hut body scrubs, Drunk Elephant bronzing drops, Pillow Talk liner, Clinique Black Honey lipstick, Benetint stain, Tower 28 concealer, Dior lip gloss specifically, the berry one. One. Phenomenal color. I have found nothing that is the similar color for me. I love that one so much. The room's like spinning a little. Hydration break, guys, because it's getting hot in this room. <laughs> this blanket, super comfortable, but super hot, and I don't want to put the AC on because it's going to be so loud and you can't hear me. So, getting a little overheated. Back to the list. Youth to the People Kale Cleanser. Maui Babe Tanning Lotion. Sun Bum. I love a lot of their products. I just love the smell of them. Their SPF, obviously, when it's summertime, that's my go-to sunscreen. I use their shampoo and conditioner currently. Their 3-in-1 leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. And also their SPF lip balms. They have tinted ones and non-tinted ones. The next category is tech. A vlogging camera, if you're interested in that. I have the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm looking to upgrade to the Mark III at some point. I also have this protective case I got from Amazon. It's just a little rubber case just to protect it from bumps and scratches when you drop it, and a screen protector for the viewfinder. iPhone or any brand of cell phone. I have the 13 Pro. AirPods. AirPod Pros. AirPod Maxes. This is something I've really been wanting. I keep trying them on 
one at the Apple store at the Grove. They're so nice. The noise cancellation is so, so cool. You just feel enveloped in the world of music and I love music. Apple Watch, an Apple Pencil, and an iPad. They have two versions of the Apple Pencil. One is the more expensive, around $130. Basically, they're their newest generation of the pencil. That's really good if you're serious about animations or drawing or note-taking or whatever. If you want, there's a more quote-unquote budget-friendly, if you will. It's about $60. They're very similar, except you have to plug it in to connect it to your iPad. And then it also doesn't have, like, it's not as sensitive, so it's not as good for drawing, but, like, general notes, I think it's okay. A laptop, also a desktop. If you are a gamer, an editor, you work from home, etc. That's really good. These next three John gave me as an example. A Steam Deck, a MetaQuest VR, and PlayStation 5 headphones. Next for dorm slash room slash college life, of course bedding, wall prints, throw pillows and blankets, a rug, whether that's for outside your door or in your bathroom, a makeup organizer, a jewelry organizer, closet organizer, air purifier, greatest thing that I probably got for this room, a yoga mat and weights. Our school personally doesn't have like a rec center. We have a small gym, but with COVID, it kind of fell apart. So a yoga mat and some small weights in your dorm will be your best friend for the most part. A TV, pretty straightforward. LED lights, this can be in the form of like strip lights, string lights, fairy lights, an LED sign, Swiffer, that has been really helpful. Grocery cart, game changer. Water filter for your sinks. An air fryer. The amount of times that I didn't want to have to go down to the kitchen to cook something that could just be cooked in the room. Air fryer. Always pan from our place, like an all-in-one. So you can fry, steam, saute, there's like different add-ins you can add, like a steamer basket, all types of things. So that's really nice because if you have limited space in your dorm, you can have a pan that does multiple things instead of having to have six different pans. Last but not least before Poshmark is miscellaneous. Case to buy cases or wildflower cases. I have this one. I really like it. Dryer balls. They're like little wool balls that you can add into the dryer and it helps push the clothes around and it helps them dry better. True earth laundry sheets. Really thin just sheets that you, you rip up and you put into the water. A sleeping eye mask. This can be either just silk or there's weighted ones as well which i hear are really nice a jelly cat i like a little buddy around and jelly cat ones are super cute i got john the chocolate croissant one ankle weights also something you can do in the room pilates set moleskin notebooks a matcha kit a keurig an espresso machine a milk frother and a hand milk frother eva nyc hairbrush dryer it's what i use too it's like the revlon brush so like also a revlon brush but it's just another brand of it dyson air wraps if you want to splurge. There's also the shark something, but that one as well. A wet brush. I don't know if people still use wet brushes. It might just be like the competitive swimmer in me would throw that in my swim bag. Those are so nice. Lego sets. They're fun. <laughs> Enough said, like why not? Paint sets, also just fun. Five minute journal, Barnes and Nobles, or whatever you have as your local bookstore. A keyboard, instrument wise. A ukulele, an acoustic guitar, or an electric guitar. A recording studio set. I also put this on my wish list. There's some on Amazon from the brand Focusrite, I believe is what it's called. It comes with a mic, it comes with an interface, and it comes with headphones. And then you can just get like a pop filter, all that stuff. Pet? I never see these on these lists, but pets? I mean, make sure that your family has someone around to take care of it. You're all taking care of it. Because it is a big expensive thing, but cat, a dog, fish even. It's nice to have someone around and like someone to come home to. Don't just buy pets, guys. Make sure that you are being responsible for them. It's like basically having a child, you know, take care of them. A vinyl and record player, a North Face backpack, aloe tote bag, and have this black gym bag that just looks super sleek. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this, <laughs> but this backpack. I have had it since freshman year of high school. It's still in perfect condition. I use it all the time. Bay's luggage set. They have a carry-on, a check-in, and this duffel bag that slips onto the handle. Also, their travel mirror. Stanley cups, Owala bottles, stickers for your water bottle or your laptop. You can get these on Redbubble. Also, a lot of times brands, you'll buy something and they send you stickers, so you can always use that. A Glossier tumbler, but these are sold out online. But if you have a store near you, Check it out. I think they're in person still. Also in person, the Glossier holiday makeup bags. They just relaunch them for the season. And then they have the pink one permanently on their website. This is for any video creator, but also especially if you are in the acting world as well as me. Self-tapes are a big thing. Your self-tape quality is so important. A good tripod, good ring light.
light or you can try to get box lights if you want to like really invest into it and clip-ons if you're doing something on your phone like a tiktok video everyone's seen the alex earl light the difference it's worth it. Also a backdrop stand. I was trying to find like a blank wall for the longest time doing my self tapes here and either it's just an inconvenient spot or in the classrooms there's always like an AC or someone rehearsing, someone talking. It's just difficult. So do yourself a favor. Get yourself a really nice, there's like these collapsible ones. They have two different sides. There's a gray and a blue for like theatrical versus commercial. Doesn't wrinkle. It looks super clean behind you. This is the last section and it is stuff on my Poshmark which I'll put the handle up on the screen a Zara blazer it is new without tags also a Zara skirt this is new with tags Levi's jeans new with tags five different pairs of fuzzy socks new with tags an Astoria activewear set they're both in cherry red sports bra and leggings new with tags and a little black zip up jacket super cute and cropped also new with tag a floral corset top camo guest pants princess poly bodycon mini dress ardeen sweater vest motel rocks zebra pants there's also some other things but this is just the primary things that are currently on my poshmark that is it guys we made it to the end <laughs> i hope you enjoyed i hope you found something for yourself that you could put on your own list or maybe buy for people in your life and yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day six Bye guys.